Thank you for joining us for information on the open enrollment and special enrollment features of the Affordable Care Act and Covered California, California's Health Exchange. Open enrollment occurs each year in the fall. Everyone enrolling at that time has an effective date of the following January 1st. However, we believe that you should consider pre-registration at any time prior to open enrollment. Find out now if you qualify for a subsidy in 2015. Plan ahead and have a certified agent with Covered California set up your account for you now. There's no charge for this service and you will avoid the chaos of open enrollment, website access problems, and other issues that accompany open enrollment. There is an ongoing discussion on whether there will be an extension of the open enrollment for 2015 and beyond. Jackson Hewitt, the National Tax Preparation Service, is advocating that the federal government extend open enrollment to April 15th each year to align with the tax deadline when many consumers receive tax refunds. Also, researchers at UC Berkeley's Center for Labor Research and Education are now providing new data on the large numbers of people they expect will enter or leave the Covered California program during the coming year outside of open enrollment. Ken Jacobs, a co-author of the report, stated that for many people Covered California is a place where they will access coverage for a short time during a life transition, such as a job loss or divorce. People will enter and leave on a regular basis. So what are the circumstances for a special enrollment during the year? Here are the qualifying life events as defined under the Affordable Care Act. Getting married, having a baby, or adopting a child, permanently moving to a new area that has different health plan options, losing other health care coverage, change in income. Now this last one is interesting as they do not specify what percentage of change? What seems reasonable? We appear to have an opportunity given a change in income to enroll members during a special enrollment period. Should you want to find out more, please contact a Covered California certified agent. Also, as a brief reminder, to please remember Covered California's shop, the Small Business Health Options Program. This program is available for businesses with 50 employees or less. We will have more on this for employers in an upcoming presentation. What if I lose my coverage or have a qualifying life event? How long do I have to sign up for health insurance or change my health insurance plan in Covered California? Well, you will have 60 days from the date of the event. However, remember that enrollment typically has to take place on the 15th of the month for coverage to become effective on the first of the month following, which all must be within the same 60-day period. If you miss this, you will have to wait until the next annual open enrollment in the fall. Finally, what about the fee for not having coverage? Well, the penalty for not having coverage is calculated one of two ways and you would pay the higher of 1% of your yearly household income above the filing threshold of $10,150 or $95 per person in your household, $47.50 per child under age 18. The penalty will increase every year. In 2015, it is 2% of income or $325 per person. In 2016, it is 2.5% of income or $695 per person, after which that amount is adjusted for inflation each year. And you will have to pay the fee on your 2014 federal income tax when you file. Avoiding the penalty. Let's take a moment to read this slide. To avoid the penalty, you need insurance that qualifies as minimum essential coverage. If you're covered,
by any of the following, you're considered covered and don't have to pay a penalty. There are many ways to avoid having to pay this penalty. Although small initially, it can grow to a much larger amount in future years. So, as it states on the bottom of the page, as your health insurance provider, we can assist you at no charge to make sure you do not have to pay this penalty. Please contact us at 1-800-446-2663 to assist you. Thank you for your attention. It is greatly appreciated.